Magnus under pressure in the opening. That's my that's my big bet. And he does. <laughs> the game has started, but Magnus Carlsen is uh, not here. He needs to switch on. Hopefully, he's back from that wedding. When uh, they did that, okay, but we have a decision. E4, E5. Yes. That's predicted. So, yep. And White's knight coming out. This is standard stuff. Black's knight defending his central pawn. And the Italian game, over the last few years, it's become a trend. It's exploded, this type of opening. And Magnus is an expert from the white side as well. So, And uh, even knife. Ooh. Okay, so Black's bishop retreating. That's rare. And White's also slightly ahead in development. Okay, he does this first. He doesn't castle yet. He pushes a pawn in the center. And wow, this has made Magnus decide to bring his queen out at an early stage. This is extremely rare in the Italian opening. I think that this is necessarily too scary for Eric. He does just castle his king and finally Black is starting to develop his pieces. You can even develop the white knight. Okay, he centralizes his rook. Sensible stuff, but it did take him a bit of time. And Magnus, if he keeps giving those options to Eric, he'll be feeling confident that... Enforce the kind of control. Okay, he's played it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Magnus doing something that is actually really popular these days, and that's just a copy. Magnus to maybe push his pawn. Again, a bit of copycat here. All of the rook's pawns now been pushed, and that has created a hiding place. Uh, yeah. A few questions there. He brings his bishop out first. And... And, and it's one good sign, actually, for Eric, is that he's actually taking these decisions now quite quickly. King is so flexible, does have the option of castling it away. Tact at this early stage. Normally, with white, you want a bit of respect. You occupy the centre, you've done everything correct, and your opponent attacks you. It's not too pleasant. But Eric reacts instantly. Potential attack will be less dangerous. So, OK, black recaptures. I expect Eric to... OK, he has traded the bishops off and he's brought his knight out. And here we go. <laughs> the moves are coming almost instantly now. And uh, this is because both sides have clear plans to find the best moves on every turn. And OK, he does play this queen move. There. That is <laughs> as good. <laughs> okay. Funny, funniest moment in chess for me was when Vidit Gujarati made an illegal move. Yeah, and Magnus ripping his shirt off. That was also fun too, just a few months ago, actually. OK. OK, making a bit of a face there. Maybe he's surprised that the game's become this complicated this soon. But meanwhile, Eric's made a decision, and that's to push a pawn forward. That is committal. Actually, knights are the best pieces on outposts. And that white bishop in the centre of the board, it looks pretty, but it doesn't really want to ever move again. And if black can later move the light squared bishop, maybe double up the two rooks against the white king. Um, OK. Hey, well, we have a very direct. direct answer here, because Magnus is simply move the knight into the beautiful outpost, the, so, the trouble. Yep, so here you don't take this pawn. Okay. Oh, this okay. hasn't happened. Um, it's like in football, one side's running with the ball down the right wing, but the other side's put all their players on the other side of the board. Mm -hmm. And, okay, Magnus committing very quickly. Okay, so knight takes knight has been played now. Yeah, and okay, pawn takes knight is forced. Yep, but Magnus, once he gets back to the board, he will <laughs> recapture. It's slightly surprising, actually, at least for me, that Magnus didn't pre-move Pawn takes knight, uh, so that even if he's not at the board, this move would have happened automatically. That's one of the pros of online chess. You can Ooh. just uh, make a move. <laughs> okay, did, did you just see that he was wearing shorts? Yeah, back in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's Magnus's style. We've seen it before. <laughs> and OK, he does eventually recapture that knight. Black's bishop would use the third row, and the black rook would break through towards the white king. So, yeah, too much power with this bishop, and that's why he does get he rid does of it, Magnus Carlsen. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe... The, the, okay. the computer was just getting excited because white did have some threats. Mm. Okay, but what about this pawn capture that Eric's just played? King, I mean, obviously you've got... Okay, so he's captured the pawn. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, now knight takes pawn. Yeah, I don't think Eric will contemplate going to an endgame, firstly because he's playing an endgame genius like Magnus Carlsen, but also because white's chances lie in the middle game. I was a little bit distracted by the quiz of the day answers, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> making me laugh. Centre and actually eliminate this black bishop and attack against the Black Queen. Let's move his rook takes rook, yep. pawn on, then... OK, okay he hasn't but he hasn't played it. So this pawn is a big This pawn is a big weakness. Okay, rook takes rook on the board. <gasps> Suddenly, I think we might see an upset in this game, you know, Yvanka. Oh, OK. <laughs> it looks so slow there, Yvanka. Um, yeah, that must be what Magnus is banking on. And actually, Eric, he didn't go in that direction with the White Queen. He just stepped up one square, um, attacking Black's central pawn, and pops off in the middle there the, on the d4 square. It's just game over. Yeah, OK. You need to keep that pawn alive and... Magnus He's done that, David. banking everything on this pawn. OK, 30 seconds. Ooh. And the queen now centralises herself. OK, it just steps forward onto a dark square. That's sensible. And He's there's got... no immediate breakthrough. He's got 32 seconds left and he's just relocated his rook will perhaps spring forward in the right circumstance and give mm -hmm. checkmate. Um, which Push one the pawn. You... Okay, that this one. one. Yes. Yep. Fans and 
He's doing that. And actually, I just looked over that position. He was about to checkmate Wesley, so Wesley resigning. In this game, we've seen one move. Magnus occupying the open line with his rook and down onto the first row, and that's just going to be the end. White's rook forced. It's a, it's a prisoner itself now mm -hmm. next to the white king, and I think black can just bring his rook into the game. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I think he could be one of the top grandmasters in the world. He's that talented. And Okay, slightly surprising by Magnus not bringing his rook down onto the first rank, but this looks good enough. The bishop also trying to support the white, uh, the black pawn there from uh, helping mm -hmm. it to promote. And there we go. The black pawn did promote. It became a queen in the process. White had to give up a rook for a bishop and a pawn and okay. give some annoying checks. But, but uh, where are you going to put the queen to begin with? So you, you've, still, <laughs> you've still got to be very careful, for okay. instance. We don't even oh. have to answer. Okay. Eric, he does just give up. It was difficult. It was lost. But... Yeah, it was just that one move blunder and he just gave up hope after that.